Praise the Lord. I'd like to greet everybody who is uh, watching right now in their homes and everybody who's here right now at the Malacanang um, Hall Sanctuary. Praise God. So this is our prayer night. And again, we'd like to welcome you, uh, everybody who's watching. Maging yung mga kapatidan po natin na nanonood sa ibang bansa, ibang dako, mga kapatid. Praise God. So we're glad to be together in a place like this. Um, even though we can't be together sa ngayon na lahat tayo andito, but I believe we are one and we are together in the Spirit of the Lord. Amen? Praise God. So my name is Verniel from Malacanang Church. <laughs> and uh, it's my pleasure tonight to, um, to share a word of encouragement from the Lord, to share a word of um, exhortation from the Word of the Lord. And we're going to jump right in into the Word of the Lord. Let's open the Bible in the book of James, chapter 5, verse 16. Praise the Lord. Okay, so um, before that, I would like to greet everyone a happy Independence Day. Mal ma maligayang, ang tag ito, araw ng kalayaan sa bawat isa. So, we're here because uh, more than 100 years ago, there are people who fought for our freedom. Amen? But I believe what's more important is that 2,000 years ago, we have a Jesus Christ, we have a Messiah who also died for our freedom so that we could become free from uh, condemnation. We can be free from sin. We can be free from the bondage of this world. Amen? So, I'm thankful tonight for the celebration of freedom, that we are free as citizens, but more than that, we are free as citizens of the kingdom of God. Amen. Let's read uh, James chapter 5, verse 16. It says there, Confess your faults one to another, and pray one for another, that ye may be healed. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. Verse 17 Elias was a man subject to like passions as we are, and he prayed earnestly that it might not rain. And it rained not on the earth by the space of three years and six months. And verse 18, And he prayed again, and the heaven gave rain, and the earth brought forth her fruit. Tonight, I would like to talk on um, simple exhortation na akin pong tinawag, If you can pray through, you can break through. Amen. Amen. Sa Tagalog, kung ay, sa Tagalog, it sounds a bit different. But kung ikaw daw ay makapag, mapagtatagumpayan mo ang mga hadlang sa panalangin, kaya mo pong magtagumpay at pag, pagtagumpayan ang anumang bagay at ang mga hadlang, mga kapatid. Praise God. Let's pray to the Lord and ask for His guidance tonight. Panginoon Diyos, salamat sa celebration, Lord God, of our freedom tonight. We are able to, to uh, gather together here today. Thank you, Lord God, for technology that we're able to, to uh, gather many people, Lord, hallelujah, in one purpose, just uh, for our prayer night tonight. And we're going to um, open your word tonight. As we, as we go through your word, we pray that you will also open our hearts, Lord. And help us, Lord God, na amin pong maunawaan ang mga bagay na gusto mong pong ipaunawa sa amin sa gabing ito. Tulungan po kami, Panginoon Diyos. Hallelujah. And tonight, we give you all the praise and the glory in Jesus' name. Everybody say, Amen. 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 If you can pray through, you can break through. Originally, ang, ang title po nito dapat ay How to Overcome Obstacles by Praying Through. But, at the end of the day, I, um, bas maganda yung, if you can pray through, you can break through. Amen. We all know that prayer is a powerful weapon. Amen. Amen. So, tayo po yung nandito sa ganitong uri ng isang gathering, we are watching this because we already believe in the power of prayer. That's why ang atin pong mensahe ngayon is not to convince you to pray. Because I believe that you are a praying person already. That's why 
ikaw po ay nandito ngayon sa isang tinatawag na prayer night. Amen. So we are aware of the power of prayer as a powerful weapon. Amen. In fact, kung ating po titingnan, karamihan, if not all Christians, already pray. For example, we pray before we eat. Tayo po ay nanalangin before we leave the house. And when we have problems at work, we pray to God. Amen. So prayer as a Christian has been a way of life for us. And it is something that is a normal occurrence in our Christian life. Amen. But this evening, I would like to submit to you that to, to get more results from the Lord and to unlock the power of the Lord in our lives, it is not just enough for us to just pray. Hindi lamang maganda po yung ating panalangin sa pagkain, panalangin when we wake up in the morning and when we, before we sleep at night and before we go to work. But there is more to prayer than just our normal day-to-day. It is not enough to just pray, but if we want to experience the power of the Lord in our lives, we need to pray through. Praise God. Meron pong napakalaking pinagkaiba ng just praying and praying through. Because when we pray, praise God, we embrace the, the act of prayer as a lifestyle. But when we pray through, we embrace the supernatural power of God in our lives. Amen. When we pray through, hallelujah, it means hindi po tayo nakukontento sa ordinaryo na resulta. Bagkus, we desire to seek more of God. Amen. We desire to get deeper into the presence of God. And that's why we go to a place where we are not comfortable in our in our in our walk with God, and we go to something that is more deeper with God. And that is praying through, mga kapatid. Praise God. Next line. Let me submit to you again that the real solutions to the problems of our present time is for God's children to go beyond traditional prayers. Praise God. When we say traditional prayers, ito po yung mga panalangin na hindi naman po masama. Praise God. We pray when we gather together. We pray as a matter of ceremony, when we attend events. Amen. But when it comes to pressing matters of our time, amen, when it comes to the urgent matters ng atin pong buhay kristyano at bilang mga tao pong namuhay sa panahon ngayon, hallelujah, we need to be able to pray through. And we need to go to that next dimension with God in prayer, hallelujah, and for us to unlock yun pong kapangrihan ng Panginoon na siya po ay handa na ipagkalob po sa atin. Everybody say, praise the Lord. Ano ba ibig sabihin ng praying through? What does praying through mean? It means we, we break through physical and spiritual barriers of prayer. Ano pong ibig sabihin nun? Atin daw pong binabasag yung mga physical, yung mga normal na, na mga hadlang, at yung mga spiritual na mga hadlang, upang tayo ay makapanalangin sa Panginoon. Praise God. When we talk about the physical, we talk about distractions every day. Amen. I work in an internet company, and sometimes I would have 20 different windows on my computer, and sometimes there are two different people I'm chatting with, and the client here, and uh, my office mate here, and in this chat window, there's my boss, and this in this chat window, there's my wife. <laughs> <laughs> Praise the Lord. So, there are a lot of physical barriers in our time and distractions that sometimes prevent us to get deeper into the presence of the Lord. Amen. And there are also spiritual barriers as well. But to be able to, be able to understand what praying through actually means, gusto ko pong magbigay ng konting illustration because when I was in high school, um, I, I learned a lesson from one of my favorite subjects, and it's called physical education. Praise God. Because I love fitness, I love being fit, I love being healthy, and I am the health expert in this room. <laughs> Praise God. <laughs> Praise God. At natutunan ko po doon sa lesson, I was homeschooled when I was in first year and second year. 
natunan ko po sa lesson doon is that when we exercise, let's say for example, tayo po ay nagja-jogging or nagja-jumping jack, yung atin pong lakas ng ating katawan, the strength of our muscles and the energy of our body can sometimes last only for two minutes. And when when you start when you start jogging for the first two minutes, suddenly after two minutes, the the sugar in your body or the glucose in your body. Pardon, I'm not a I'm not a medical expert, but I just remember this one. The glucose in your body will start to build up in your muscles, and then you will have a build up of what they call lactic acid. And lactic acid will make you feel very, very tired, as if you can't go on. And that's why, when when you go um, when you go jogging for the first two minutes, you feel like stopping already and going to McDonald's after two minutes because <laughs> that's the glucose in your body. Amen. But something happens when you don't stop your exercise after two minutes. Praise God, because when you keep on going on, despite what you feel, yes, you feel like you can't go on, but there is actually more energy that is waiting to be unlocked in your physical body. And when you, when you choose to move forward beyond that hump and beyond that barrier, suddenly the body will unlock lots of energy and you will be able to move on for many hours, more than one hour of jogging. Amen. Ano pong kinalaman nun sa ating uh, pinag-aaralan ngayong gabi? It's because when it comes to our prayer life with the Lord, when we come to the Lord and approach the Lord in prayer, sometimes there is a hump that we need to go through. There is a physical hurdle and spiritual barrier that we need to go through. When, when we kneel our, 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 our feet on the floor or our knees on the floor to pray to the Lord, suddenly you will remember, uh, you will hear your baby crying. Or suddenly you will remember all the things that have has been happening all day. Your busy schedule. And then you, you feel like you cannot get into a certain uh, mood and you cannot get into a certain um, place and atmosphere where you can move forward in prayer with the Lord. Ngunit kapag naramdaman po natin that we can't go on, that like we are being in a hump, amen, that there's a barrier for us to continue praying. Ngunit kung tayo po magpapatuloy, mga kabatid, dun po ay aanlak ng Panginoon yung pong, yung pong kanyang kapangyarihan para sa atin, natutulungan po niya tayong manalangin. And that's what it means to pray through. It's like an exercise, mga kapatid. Sabi po sa Bible, bodily exercise profited little. Praise God. Ngunit yung daw godliness ay profitable for all things. So, yung pong ating principle na ina-apply sa atin pong pag exercise sa ating pangatawan, lalo po nating i-apply sa pag exercise sa atin pong espiritu. Amen. That when we pray, hallelujah, we don't stop until we are able to pray through and go beyond that physical and spiritual hurdle that is limiting us from grabbing hold of the presence of God. Praise God. Malino po yun? Amen. Ano ba ang ginagawa ng pagpipray through or pagkatagumpay sa panalangin? Number one, it prevails. Sabi po sa ating binasa kanina, the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man avail it much. When we pray through, we are able to have an effectual prayer. Meaning tayo po ay focused, mga kapatid. Amen. Suddenly, so I like that song that says, if we turn our eyes on Jesus, suddenly this, this, uh, this world, what do you call the lyrics of that, will go strangely dim. When we are able to pray through, suddenly the problems that you have in your daily life seem very small compared to the presence of the Lord. Because you are focused. Because you are able to pray through. And secondly, it is fer fervent. And our prayer to the Lord becomes our passion. 
Amen. Siguro, first two minutes, hindi pa tayo nakakalampas, mga kapatid. Amen. Andun ang hikab. Andun ang cellphone tumutunog. Praise God. But if we keep on going and we believe that there is power to be unlocked when we pray through, praise God, the Lord will pick up our slack and help us. Hallelujah. And tasamaan po niya tayo sa atin pong pananalangin. Amen. The other thing that praying through does is it is persistent or it persists. Amen. James 5.18, sabi doon, Elias, si Elias, Elijah, we look up to Elijah as a great prophet. Amen. We look, at, we look up to him as a one of the giants, spiritual giants in the Bible. Ngayon sabi po ni James, siya po ay kagaya din natin. Amen. Nalulungkot. Um, ano ba? Nababagot. <laughs> Pero, noong sa unang try, ay hindi sinagot ng Panginoon ang kanya pong panalangin, ang sabi ng Biblia. And he prayed again. How many prayers of us would have been answered or would have been answered sooner if we did not stop praying? Praise God. But yung ating pong, ating pong gustong makamit sa Panginoon ay hindi pa natin nakakamit ang sagot galing sa Kanya. Kung oo, hindi, or maghintay tayo. Kung wala pa tayong ganong sagot, praise God, let us just pray again. Amen. And pray again. Praise God. Because praying through means we take part in persistent prayer. Praise God. Paano po ba tayo makakapag-pray through sa atin pong uh, Christian, uh, Christian life? Amen. Number one is to pray without ceasing. Praise God. It, we have to be in a constant state of prayer in our lives. Hindi po, hindi po ibig sabihin na kahit nag exam tayo ay nag, uh, there, nag, nagdadasal. No? Although you can do that, but not actively kasi nag-aano ka eh, nag exam ka. But it means that you need to be in a constant spiritual state of prayer where you directly communicate with the Lord in any situation that you have in your life. Nasaan ka man, naka-lockdown ka sa bahay, ikaw ba ay na-stranded sa sakyan, nasa border ka ng GCQ, hindi ka makatawid. Amen. Pray without ceasing, mga kapatid. Number two, we have to pray in the Holy Ghost. Praise God. Sabi po sa Jude 20, we build ourselves in our most holy faith when we pray in the Holy Ghost. Amen. Tama na ang panahon na ating pinipilit manalangin na mag-isa. At pinipilit natin, we feel like our martyrdom will help us to get prayers answered by the Lord. Sabi na, alam ng Panginoon na hindi po tayo marunong manalangin. That's why we have the Holy Spirit to guide us into prayer and to help us to pray for the things that we need to pray for. Amen. Next. Sabi sa 1 Timothy 2.8 that we need to pray everywhere. Ibig sabihin, anumang sitwasyon, katulad po yung binanggit ko kanina, Amen. There is always room for us to pray. And thank God for a praying church that we have our prayer night tonight. Amen. Kung saan ang inyo pong mga, atin pong mga kahilingan sa Panginoon ay malaya po nating binibigay sa Panginoon. Praise God. And this community of believers will pray through with you. Amen. Next po. Praise God. I would like to encourage you tonight that if you pray through, you will make it through. Meron ka bang mga goals sa buhay? May inaasam? Praise the Lord na gusto mong makamit at pinapanalangin mo sa Panginoon. Praise God. If you pray through, tutulungan ka ng Panginoon na maabot mo ang mga bagay na ito. If you pray through, I would like to encourage you that God will help you see it through. May mga bagay ba sa iyong buhay na nalilito ka at hindi mo ma-imagine kung paano ang gagawin solusyon? Hindi mo makita ang kasagutan? Praise God. If you pray through, tutulungan ng Panginoon na buksan ang iyong kaisipan upang malaman mo ang maaaring i-open ng Panginoon para sa iyo kung paano ba ang daan upang ikaw ay payamangin ng Panginoon. Maaaring i-open ng Panginoon sa iyo kung papaano mo 
ang iyong mahal sa buhay ay mabahaginan mo ng salita ng Diyos. Amen. But, you have to pray through and to persist in prayer. Praise God. And God will help you to see things that you have never seen before in your human eyes. And finally tonight, I would like to encourage you that if you pray through, you can have your breakthrough. Amen. Kung ikaw ay stuck, you might be stuck in a situation. Perfect example, we, some of us have been stuck in a situation where we are stuck at our homes and we can't do uh, things. Ako po at awang bahay, pero nung nagkaroon ng lockdown, parang feeling ko, hindi po ako malaya. Pero hindi naman ako lumalabas talaga ng bahay. <laughs> Praise God. We are stuck in our situation. Amen. Children of God, all we need to do is to pray through and to continue to pray through. Amen. Patuloy na pong gumaganda ang sitwasyon sa atin pong mundo ngayon. Patuloy na pong pababa ng pababa ang atin pong quarantine levels, mga kapatid. Huwag po tayong mapapakampante. Hallelujah. Dahil patuloy po tayong mananalangin. Ang mga anak ng Diyos ay patuloy na mananalangin at mananalangin. At atin pong pagtatagumpayan ito. Hagang tayo po ay sama-sama na makalabas po sa sitwasyon na ito. Praise God. So if you're at your home right now, you can clap your hands to the Lord. Amen. As a parting verse tonight, 2 Chronicles 7.14, If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and I will forgive their sin and will heal their land. 2 Chronicles 7.14 The word pray in that verse, if you translate it from the Greek, it means to intervene and to interpose. Meaning may paparating dapat na danger, may paparating dapat na threat, but then somebody ay humarang doon upang siya ay mag-intervene. Now, I don't know about you, but somebody who is intervening and interposing must do it with strength. Amen. Hindi po pwedeng ang nag intervene ay mahina ang katawan at siya po ay baka madala lang ng mga Siguro paparating na mga ano, na mga sundalo na kaaway, no? Nag-intervene siya, madaanan lang siya. Amen. Praise God. That's why yung pong ating mga panalangin na na half-hearted lamang, yung ating panalangin na uncommitted or prayers that we might be able to call weak because we don't have maybe we don't have time to get deeper into prayer. It's time now to strengthen ourselves and to strengthen our spiritual bodies by means of praying through. And we're, when we are able to pray through and we have the power of the Holy Ghost in our lives, then we will be able to intervene. Praise God. Ano man ang nangyayari sa mundong ito? Merong, merong nangyayaring pandemic? Praise God that people of God will intervene. Merong nangyayari na uh, there is there is division, may mga pag-aaway-aaway between iba-ibang lahi, then the people of God will intervene. Hallelujah. And will bring the message of love and the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. We are strong when we are able to pray through in the Holy Ghost. Praise God. So yun po ang ating uh, ang salita po ng Panginoon sa gabing ito. Now more than, e- more than ever, the children of God need to intervene in prayer and we need to pray through. Ang tanong ko po sa inyo ngayon, inyo po bang tinatanggap ang hamon na makiisa sa pananalangin at pagtatagumpay kasama ng ating Panginoon? Amen. God bless everybody. And we're going to move over to our prayer time tonight. As I turn over this microphone to our senior pastor, Pastor Daniel Kotar. God bless you all po. Praise the Lord. It was a very good study about prayer. Hallelujah. If you pray through, you can break through. Kung ikaw ay 
makalulusot sa prayer, makakalusot ka sa iyong circumstance. Ibig sabihin, naabot mo sa prayer, maaabot mo sa tunay na buhay. Lagpak ka sa prayer, lalo na sa totoong buhay. So, kailangan, karoon tayo ng heartfelt focus prayer na talagang mapagwagihan natin kasi mismo sa prayer, nandodo na umiral ang katamaran. No? Burdom. Yung bang sawa at saka um, hindi ka makapag-focus sapagkat wala kang gana. You know why? Because in anything that you do, it is for yourself. But when you pray, it's not only for you, but it's for God. At doon, hadlangan ka ng kaaway. Ang hadlang sa iyo, hindi malaking bato, hindi malaking padir. Ang hadlang sa iyo ay maliit lang na susi, susi ng katamaran at pagsasawa. No? So, kapag ikaw ay wala ng gana, wala na lahat. Ano nga mangyari sa tao pag wala ng gana kumain? Papayat, titigil, kain. Kung wala na siyang ganang matulog, wala na, hindi na siya matutulog. Kung wala siyang ganang uminom ng tubig, hindi na siya inom ng tubig. So kung wala ka ng ganang magpray, kahit nakaluhod ka pa, pero yung heart and mind is no longer into prayer. That is why we have to uh, pray through in order to have a breakthrough, mga kapatid. Praise God. In our lives today, we need a financial breakthrough. No? In um, television and in news, maka, we can, we can uh, hear and read about people having no food to eat anymore. Yung mga tao sa ibang bansa, lalo na yung mga OFWs natin, they are being maltreated in other countries because mayroon pong uh, problem po ang ating uh, daigdig sa ngayon. Yung pandemic, no? And then, dahil nga po sa mga lockdown sa iba't ibang mga lugar, kasama po ng mga uga-ugali ng mga employers, so then, our uh, OFWs are suffering from the maltreatment of uh, some other people. Uh, even in the Philippines, mga kapatid, we can see other people also that are starving. Ano po? At uh, sila ay sumisigaw po ng tulong. Now, what we can do for that is, number one, prayer. Because prayer will unlock the door of blessings. Prayer can even unlock people's minds and the hearts of the people. Prayer can touch the heart of the uh, solid rock na mga puso. No? So, let's pray unto God. Sabi nga ng ating uh, preacher kanina, If my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. Kailangan ng Diyos natin, mga kapatid, na tayo manalangin at kailangan natin na pagalingin ng Diyos ang ating lupain. Ang iba, gustong tumakas sa Amerika. No, our hope is not in other countries. Our hope is in the Philippines. God has to heal our land. In order to do that and in order to have that happen, mga kapatid, we should pray. Hallelujah.